Next in the tank is a grandmother who wants to make her mark in the health food industry and prove that it's never too late to take on the world. I'm 70 next year. I started a little retirement business to keep me from getting bored at home. I'm not a person that can sit around. I'm a person who likes to know how things work. I'm just interested. I've seen it so often on TV. I'm thinking, have they really got a, like an aquarium in there? I want a shark on board because they have the business acumen that I don't have. I barely know what a CEO is, but I think I need one. <laughs> Hi sharks, <laughs> I'm Jenny. Um, my company is Strange Grains Gluten-Free Bakery in Perth in Western Australia. It's a wholesale artisan bakery. I'm looking for investment of 350,000 for 10% of my business. Okay. That's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Business came about because I'm a celiac and when I first started playing with this, there wasn't much out there in palatable breads and a bit of research and a lot of experiment. I came up with a recipe that I thought was not too bad, I could eat it. And I started a market stall on the strength of it. And after about six weeks, I thought, hang on, I'm not gonna be able to be in my kitchen for much longer with this and started looking for a big bakery. It just took off. I had to get distributors because I could no longer do the deliveries myself. Once the distributors came on board, it just went mad and I still can't cope with Western Australia. So Jenny, that's 350,000 for 10% of your company. Yes. So you're valuing your company at $3.5 million. Yes. Can you point to your best selling loaf of bread? This is the best seller. To make a large loaf costs $1.60. What's its price point? Between 13 and 15. Hey. 13 and $15. dollars $15, yeah. yeah. So it's a premium product and you make it for? $1.60. $1.60. I, can I look at a $13 loaf of bread? Some of the top restaurants in Perth use that across the board because it's a really nice loaf. Look how big that is. It's probably two loaves. That's 13 bucks. Yeah. Buck 60 is worth of ingredients. Yeah. This is fabulous. Thank you. Would you like to sit down? I'd love to, thank you. It's fantastic. I can't stop eating it. You've done you. a great job here, so I'm not surprised you. you've got all these awards. So what is the secret? Do you know, I don't really want to tell you on air. <laughs> <laughs> so it literally is a secret. It is a secret recipe. OK. That is, a, that is amazing. Um, three and a half million buck valuation. Can you talk to your economics in, of the business, please, to let us understand how you've, you've come to that? The turnover last financial year was just under a million. Wow! This financial year, it's going to be double that. Two million turnover. I think it might be even more. Do you have much debt or...? No debt at all. No, we paid for it all out of, out of turnover. So, so may I ask, well, how much you've invested in the business, please? I sold $80,000 worth of shares. Every now and again, you know, I get a bit short or something because I've never even had a credit card. And then I'll <laughs> use some of my own money and then, oh, no, don't clap me, I got a credit card this year, but I haven't You've used it yet. You've got a credit card this year for the first time. <laughs> yeah, but time. she hasn't used it yet, which is good. That's Very great. great. <laughs> now, look, I, I'm going to let you know where I'm at. I think you, you, you have a, a great business. It's doing exceptionally well. But I just can't get excited. It's health food. I can care less about it. I'm going to bow out and um, really wish you all the best, Jenny. It's been Thank fantastic. Thank you very much. But I am out. Yeah, Jenny, <coughs> um, I love what you've done. This is going to develop into a beautiful brand around artisan bread concept. The thing that I'm getting nervous about is, from a marketing position, you're too niche. And I can't justify the valuation. Hey, thanks anyway. <laughs> Jenny, how old were you when you started the business? Um, 60 years. Are you married? Uh, I've got a few exes. 
<laughs> a few X's. I like that. Breaking hearts across across the West. <laughs> they probably can't keep up with you. <laughs> so Jenny, I love the fact that you've done this late in life because I'm sort of you know fond of this sort of twilight years, and I'm a great believer that you keep on learning and growing irrespective of how old you are. And I think you're a fantastic example of that. We're all in awe of you. That's very obvious. But I'm not really the person to add a lot of value to your business in terms of scaling it. So I'm out. OK, thanks anyway. So what would you like from us to help you with? Um, I guess I'm just looking for a partner to... I can lean on a little bit sometimes, you know. I hate making all the decisions myself. That's, I guess that's what I want, is the advice. I have no idea what's the right way. I mean, Jetty, you're wrong. I was going to say, you're absolutely you, you, wrong. 80,000 bucks, no debt, and you built this business. You've got more business acumen than you know. You about. actually have. Yeah. You know what business is? Business is common sense and making sure you make more income than there is expenses. That's as simple as it gets. And then how do you grow it? So I think you can do it without me. I'm out. OK, thanks anyway. <laughs> Thank you. So. Four sharks are out, just one shark left. Jen, there's people in every corner of Australia who can't eat gluten. I know. Would you like to be in the Coles and Woolies of the world? In other words, that it becomes our normal? Would you like that? I would love to have it all over Australia. Yeah. But I physically am not able to cope with it. And I, I mean, I figured I could do it myself anyway, but it might take 10 years, and hey, I'm in my 80s then. So I'd really love to see it up and running. Honestly, going to Woolworths and Coles, that's gonna be hard labour. I think the Coles and Woolies strategy is wrong. It goes into the big supermarket chains, it dilutes the brand and oh, damages the brand amazing. integrity. So Jenny, maybe, maybe the right partner fit for you isn't sitting right here right now. Do you like swimming in the tank? It's fun, isn't it? 69-year-old <laughs> Jenny wants $350,000 for a 10% share of her healthy bread business. Four of the sharks are out, leaving only one. Name are you in? Jen, would you like to be in the Coles and Woolies of the world? I would love to have it all over Australia. Yeah. Honestly, going to Woolies and Coles? That's going to be hard labour. I think the Coles and Woolies strategy is wrong. It goes into the big supermarket chains, it dilutes the brand and oh, damages the brand amazing. integrity. So I am going to make you an offer. OK. But it's not what you've asked for. OK. And it's because you do need a business partner and that is going to require such energy and resource. It does come with some conditions. Because if I do this, I don't want to limit the opportunity by keeping it as an artisan product. Meaning the recipe stays the same, but I would like to see it in every supermarket in Australia so that they have choice. So my offer is, is $350,000, which is what you've asked for, but for 25% of your business. Hmm. What I didn't want to buy was a lot more work. <laughs> that's, that's the only worry at the moment. Without making too many comments on your age, you're obviously, as you've identified, you're getting, you want to do less work, not more. And that's fair enough. So you need to be assured that Naomi is OK with that. So Jenny, maybe, maybe the right partner fit for you isn't sitting right here right now. Jenny, I think they're confusing you. The only decision you have to make is do you want to go alone or do you want a partner? And you've got one offer left. Do you want to talk to somebody else outside I, for a yes, minute? Yes, I would quite like to go and... I've got a couple of yeah. my sister and nephew out there. I'd love to go and just run it past them. Absolutely, go for it. Hunter. Hi. Jenny has an offer. The offer's good in that it would get me everywhere in Australia, but it would take yeah. an awful lot of work. Hunter, you were saying you thought 20 shouldn't be more than 20%, but they're offering, asking for 25%. They're very smart, aren't they? They um, are. I'm just afraid I'm buying myself a whole lot more work. 
My job is actually to make her see a bigger opportunity, whatever that looks like. Jenny, you better introduce us. This is my sister, Wendy Page. Hi, Wendy. And my Hi. nephew, Will Woods. Hi, Will. Hi. Welcome to the tank. Thank you for having us all. It's a great honour. So, you've been out there considering Naomi's offer. You wanted $350,000 for 10% of your business, valuing it at three and a half million. Naomi's offered you $350,000 for 25% of your business, valuing it at 1.4 million. What have you come up with? If we went in together, would you consider 20%? When it comes to the percentage, I looked really carefully at why 25% and the value that I'd bring to the business. And I'm not prepared to devalue my time or my energy. Yeah, okay. Oh, we have a deal! Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> You won't be alone. See you, Great. Jenny. Later. Well done. Thank you. Well done. You're on your way. Wow. Congratulations. I oh, know. Wow. You got a deal. I did. Isn't that lovely? I haven't had time to absorb it yet. Probably middle of the night I'll wake up going, hey. <laughs> but right now it's just, oh yeah, deal. <laughs> You're like the grandmother that everybody wants. I wish I was 20 years younger. It would have been so much easier. <laughs> I think you've still got that fire in your belly, though. You've got that magic about you that will make this go far. Thank you so much. You're so sweet.